This is one of the coolest campgrounds we've ever camped in. I can just imagine the lava just going boom. <laughs> It's a different world out here, and not a whole lot of people know about it. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this makes up for it. The so last time we were here, we had the fifth wheel with us. Fifth wheel was way too big to fit inside this campground. And now that we're in the Class C, I'm excited to come back because we can fit and just look at this place. Like we're gonna be camping in a lava flow field. Like this is one of the coolest campgrounds we've ever camped in. Just consulted the level. We don't even need any blocks. That is surprising because this place is crazy unlevel everywhere. Every single site is like sideways or super shallow. I'm so pumped right now. I am not as excited because it is super smoky here. I just checked the air quality levels and it says it is a 193 unhealthy. You can't see like anything in the distance in the drives here. Some of the mountains through the valleys that we were driving through, we couldn't even see, which is insane. I don't really want to go outside and like exercise and walk around in this. You want to think about that? It's what he thinks about that. I hope you heard that. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, this is cool. I'm excited to explore tomorrow. Even if it's smoky, we're gonna do it. Heck yeah, we are. It is amazing that we are literally camping next to lava rocks and lava fields. And the smoke adds a layer to the coolness. It's like very moody vibes. It makes the sun that bright orange. Also, <laughs> I rewatched our old video visiting Craters of the Moon from 2018 and. Bye. Guys. Guys. <laughs> we have come a long way. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. Ollie. Yeah, do you like tea? <laughs> yep. Like, yes, whatever this is, I love it. <laughs> is that what you like? Thankfully, the next morning the smoke had subsided and we ventured into the National Park to start exploring. Craters of the Moon National Monument is best explored by driving the seven mile Craters Loop, stopping at the overlooks and hiking along the way. The evidence of nature's power can be seen all around the park, from its volcanic cinder cones to its lava tubes, vents, and craters. The park's otherworldly appearance is thanks to its location on the Great Rift, the same rift responsible for Yellowstone's volcanic activity. 53 miles in length, the rift has volcanic cones, lava flows, and open cracks under the ground that have erupted over thousands of years, creating volcanic flows on the surface. Those looking for a bit of a challenge can hike to the top of the Inferno Cinder Cone to get an expansive view of the surrounding landscape. Because of the air quality that day, we opted for a more leisurely stroll along Devil's Garden, which shows the different varieties of lava flows that can be found here. God. There's snow in there, bro. That's crazy, right? There's a lot of snow. Yeah. But I mean, it never gets sun, so it kind of makes sense. It also just feels like a volcano. Like, I can just imagine the lava Flowing spattering around. out of the spatter cone. Just going boom. <laughs> The native Shoshone and Bannock tribes have called the Snake River Plain home for the past 12,000 to 14,000 years. These nomadic tribes would pass through craters of the moon as they migrated each season, hunting and foraging for medicinal herbs or food, and using the unique landscape to make tools or hold ceremonies. Scientists believe the eruptions at craters of the moon happen around every 2,000 years on average, with the last eruption happening just over 2,000 years ago meaning Craters of the Moon could experience another eruption at any moment. At the end of Crater Loop, visitors who received a permit from the visitor center can walk inside old lava tubes. It's a must-do activity if you're coming to Craters of the Moon. These cave systems were once a river of magma that flowed below a cooled and hardened surface above.
Parts of the tubes collapse over time, creating access to a cave system, which is absolutely incredible to walk through. This is so awesome. I'm so glad we decided to do this again. Like seriously, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> So Craters of the Moon can be done in one day. We've been there before, so we feel like we've seen a lot of the big highlights. I highly suggest staying overnight if you can get a spot in the campground, but for us, one day was perfect for visiting Craters of the Moon. And so we are making our way south toward Utah. And on our way out, we thought, why not stop at another hot spring? <laughs> if you didn't see our last video, we spent a whole week just hopping from hot spring to hot spring. You'd think we'd be sick of them by now. We're not. This is an established hot spring. So there's like a bathhouse, showers, pool. You have to pay to enter. We've been here before, back in 2018. And it's lovely, but boy, 6.37 p.m. on a Friday and it is a poppin'. Yeah, dude. I just took a little jog through the town and all of the, the RV park and every single hotel that I can see says no vacancy holy moly yeah like, something is going on it is like i mean people are weekend. playing music it is crazy so we're cooking up some dinner hoping the crowd will kind of die down and we can go there for like a nice nighttime relaxing soak this is going to be such a stark difference from like our natural setting oh, we were yeah. in back in the saw the zen rustic ones with no one else there no well at least we get to cook we have everything we could need with us in our little rv we're running low on groceries, so I'm just whipping together something out of the ingredients we did have. And this is like my play on Kadai Bindi, which is an Indian dish with okra and tomato. We only have one tomato, so I'm gonna make two. It'll be delicious. I've made this before, but I chop up some okra, of course onion. I add a little bit of pepper because we like spice. And then I add lots of different Indian spices. And then we're gonna use cauliflower rice because we don't have any rice pre-cooked. But I forgot we were adding paneer. Paneer is a special type of Indian cheese. It is delicious. Paneer also does not traditionally go in this meal. How many different spices did you just use? Uh, like five. And I have no idea if those are the traditional spices for this dish. I'm just rolling with it. Uh -oh. And for fear that we have some amazing Indian chefs on watching, I'm not even gonna tell you the ingredients I did. But if you like Kadai Bindi, leave it in the comments. It's also just so nice that our RV doesn't require us to like push a slide out in order to use it. Right now we are parked on the street next to the hot springs. Dennis wanted to go out to dinner. Yeah, I was pushing for tacos or pizza, but. This is homemade with love, good ingredients. My level is gotta like my food. Oh. See how my body reacts. This is a very different experience than the first time we came to this town. No it was kidding. like closed down, remember? On second thought, tonight is not the night. This place is raucous, dude. We're gonna go set up camp and we're gonna try it again in the morning. Hopefully there'll be a lot less people. We'll see. This was definitely the, the way to go. There's like no one here this morning. And last night our campground was super beautiful. Great, great, great views, free. And it's super close to town, but it was right next to a railroad, so. We were woken up a few, a few, few times. times. By train horns, yeah. Yeah, it was a little bit noisy, but oh, this makes up for it. Way better this morning. Way less of a crowd. Definitely get here early, like right when the place opens. We got here at 8.30 and there was already people in the pools. So, and now it's what, like 12.30 and it's starting to pop off again. So we're glad we're pulling out of here now. Well, this is it for Idaho, man. We're out of here, we're on to Utah. As always, thanks for traveling with us and we'll see you next week. You know what? It's too dark. It's not. It is. Go ahead and uh, lighten it up then. Think about that. Yeah, there you go.